with more motion controls than you can shake a Wiimote at, it's The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Hey everybody and welcome back. Feels good to be back, feels good to be back. I've missed recording this past week. So yeah, finally got my splitter cable. You know, um, skipping the middleman that is my AV amplifier. Well, I'm still using that for the audio, just because. And uh, yeah, I'm back, and better than ever. Let's go ahead and follow this mysterious girl whose identity I may or may not have already spoiled. Okay, for a minute I was like, wait a minute, I can't go this way. But apparently I can. Okay, just following her. Aw, oh, snap! Mia's been possessed by the devil! Alright. So now we gotta take the sword to Mia. Oh, crap. Well, I guess the, uh, professor was right. Mia does go crazy when it's nighttime. She's not dead, though. She's down there. I think we exorcised her. Let me just examine her some more. Oh, there's some flan. Yeah, she's scared. Alright, we'll kill the plan. Who in a treasure chest? Why not? Yeah, red ruby. Okay. Rolling in the dough. So you're fine now? You're not gonna attack us? Okay. Animal cruelty! Why not? Alright, anyway, let's get back to what we're supposed to be doing. Okay, I probably do not have enough stamina to finish this. Yeah, it's gonna be close. I'm not gonna leap. Alright. Alright, maybe I will leap. Alright, well, no. Okay! All is well. All is well. Keith! Oh, he's still alive, okay. Well then, can we run up this slope? More enemies! I am really kicking their asses. Alright. Okay! Now a tricky jump. Good job, Link. Use your parkour skills. Come on. Alright. Flan is dead. Okay. More parkour! Alright. Monkey style. Up the vine. Why not? And with that detour out of the way, here we are. That seemed kind of like a pointless detour. I mean, uh, are we just at a place we could normally, like, reach? Whatever. Keys! Keys must die. How dare you violate this sacred area? You too, Flan. Give me that rupee. Oh, okay, well, yeah, there's the bar there. All right, well, let's go ahead and go in. Inside the statue of the goddess. <laughs> the one chosen by my creator, I've been waiting for you. You will play a role in a great destiny. According to your social customs, I should provide you with my personal designation. Fee is the name I was given. I was created for a single purpose, long before the recorded memory of your people. I must aid you in fulfilling the great destiny that is your burden to carry. 
Come, Link. You must take up this sword as the one chosen by my creator. It is your destiny. Yeah, destiny! Woo! Strange dreams troubling your sleep. My sudden appearance. Uncertainly surrounding the fate of the one you hold dear. Under the circumstances, it is only logical that you would exhibit some apprehension. Yeah, you're right about that. To minimize your uncertainty, allow me to share some information. My projections indicate that this information has a high probability of altering your current emotional state. Ah, uh, great, here we go into probability and statistics. Oh God, right. The one you seek, Honorable Zelda, is still alive. Yay! She's not dead! And this spirit maiden, the one you call Zelda, is another chosen one fated to be part of the same great mission. Therefore, should you wish to meet with your friend, I highly recommend you take up this sword before you set out to search for her. Does that information invigorate you? Are you ready to accept a sword? <laughs> yeah, just believe the floating spirit link. It seems that further persuasive measures will not be required. In the name of my creator, draw the sword and raise it skyward. Heh. <laughs> Get it? You're drawing the sword and raising it skyward? Skyward sword? Name drop? Okay. Alright, ready stance? Wait. Oh, okay. Remove. <laughs> Yay, motion controls! And now, we raise our swords <laughs> to the sky. You got the goddess sword! The mysterious sword is bathed in divine light. Yay! Progression! Link. Recognition complete, Master. Link. My master. Yep, by drawing the sword, she is now Link's... Well... Okay, technically speaking, she is the sword. Well, she's the spirit of the sword, so she belongs to Link now, since the sword belongs to Link, and I'm just going to stop now. Link! Ooh. I've had my suspicions, but until now, I wasn't sure. Yet, here we are in the Chamber of the Sword, the very place where it was foretold the youth of legend would one day appear. It is said that this place was left to our people by the goddess herself. The very knowledge of this room's existence is a secret passed down to a select few of each generation, along with a handful of words. When the light of the goddess's sword shines bright, the great apocalypse will wake from its long slumber. Do not fear, for it is then that a youth, guarded by, uh, guided by my hand, shall reveal himself in place and most sacred. Why can't I read today? I don't know. It started days ago, the sword that I have kept secret all these years, it began to give off a faint otherworldly light. At first, I was sure I was seeing things here alone with the sword. There was nothing. Oh my god. There was simply no other explanation! I need hooked on phonics, seriously. I never dreamed the prophecy of legend would come to pass in my lifetime. Thus, my inability to read is kind of ruining the mood here. The words I have sworn to keep secret are coming true before my very eyes. The youth will be guided by one born of the blade, one who is also youthful in likeness, yet wise with knowledge immeasurable. Ah, yes, the oral tradition, one of the least reliable methods of information retention and transmission. There's actually so much truth in that! It appears that critical sections of the passage have been lost over the generations. The youth who draws forth the guiding sword shall be known as the goddess's chosen hero, and it is he who possesses an unbreakable spirit. He shall be burdened with the task of abolishing the shadow of apocalypse from the land. Such is his destiny. With the spirit of the blade at his side, he shall soar over the clouds and plummet below. Nice word choice there. The united with the spirit maiden shall bring forth a piercing light that resurrects the land. Yep. That's the spirit maiden. Some of Father's old texts talk about a place called the surface. The old tales describe a whole world below, far more vast than Skyloft. 
Master, you must embark on a great journey beneath the clouds to the vast realm of the surface. It is only through this journey that you can fulfill the mission set before you by my creator, the goddess. It is also the only method available for you to reunite with the spirit maiden, Honorable Zelda. This is no easy task, Link. The world below is a forsaken place, and to reach it, you must pierce the cloud barrier below. In living memory, no one has ever done this. This tablet will illuminate a path through the clouds to the land below. Take it and place it within the altar behind me. You got the emerald tablet! The weather surface of this heavy stone tablet feels very old. Master, the first thing you must do is hit the crest sitting in this room with a skyward strike. These blasts are formed of pure energy that charges within your blade when you lift it skyward. Once you have charged your blade, face the crest and swing your sword to send out a powerful skyward strike. Yeah, this is also helpful in battle, too, so... Yep. Okay. I guess we gotta face that. Oh, gotta pull out the sword first. Then skyward. Point. I'm pointing up. And there we go. And now we place the tablet. Or examine it. Okay, now we place the tablet. Yay, something's happening! Master Link, it is done. Until now, a cloud barrier created by the goddess has separated the world you know from the one below. The tablet you place in the altar has opened a small rift in the barrier. You can use it to travel through the clouds to the realm below. I have recognized you as my master, and so it is my duty to follow you wherever you may go. I reside within your sword and will accompany you in your travels. Press down to summon me whenever you require my assistance. Eh, that, that won't be happening. But thank you for the offer. Ooh. Link, listen a moment. The nature of the great apocalypse mentioned in this old, uh, in the old texts is a complete mystery to me. But whatever it turns out to be, it seems that both you and Zelda have big roles to play in the destiny of this land. Just think, if what this fee says is true, Zelda is alive. Alive and no doubt coming to terms with whatever it is the goddess has in store for her. Should you heed the call of destiny, I don't know what dangers you may have to face, Link, especially down there. But if you decide to brave the unknown, please find my daughter and bring her back to me. Don't worry, we got you back. What we've seen here today defies explanation, but it is the only the start of your journey. Please see it through and prove the legend's true. Okay. I wasn't about to, you know, get his spirits down. You do your people proud, Link. Dawn is drawing near. It has been a long night for the both of us, hasn't it? You have a great journey before you, Link, and those clothes. They don't look up to the task. The uniform you were to receive for winning the race should be ready by now. Aw, oh, yeah. A sturdy uniform like that will prove more suitable for a long journey. You'd better change before you go. <laughs> yes, our knight's clothes. Which just happened to be a staple of the series. And, yeah, save the progress. Oh, and by the way, I just want to mention right now, um, I was sort of looking over at my uh, uh, capture preview, and I noticed at a certain point, it the video kind of seemed, like, laggy. So if there's some desync in the early parts, I apologize, but more than likely it'll be a repeat of the last little section where the first five minutes of that recording session were grossly out of sync but then everything caught back up because now it seems that everything is fine so yep i apologize if there's any desync 
All right.